Hey everybody, so it's summertime, which means the next wave of JET participants are preparing to come to Japan. Uh, right here I've just got a list of what I packed in my suitcases and carry-on bags. Uh, so in case you need just a little inspiration or just an idea of what worked for me. Um, obviously everybody's situation is different, so it means you may your list may be different than mine. But I'm just going to quickly roll off what uh, I brought in my each of my different bags. Uh, according to the way the plane rolls out. So without further ado, I've got my personal item. I just used a backpack. I put my passport, my cash, uh, my fanny pack, my itinerary, uh, my predecessor's guide, uh, uh, my Japanese address written in kanji uh, and romaji just in case. Um, I brought snacks with me and brought all my chargers and my hard drive and like hard drive with like uh, my favorite DVDs or like my favorite music because I don't want to bring a bunch of like physical copies of DVDs and CDs and stuff that's just going to weigh me down or possibly get lost or damaged. Um, and I did bring some battery sticks that are already charged just in case for some reason I can't find a wall outlet and I, you know, we got to have our phone, right? Um, and then laptop um, just with some entertainment on there for, you know, just in case. Um, so that's my personal item. Um, so let's go straight into my, what do you call, carry-on carry, carry on luggage. And so basically right here you're planning for your Tokyo orientation uh, garb and anything you need just in the, the you know, like the nice hotel. Um, so I put, um, of course, so you need like two outfits for fancy dinners. You can get by with just one and I would almost recommend just bringing your, you know, one jacket one shirt, maybe two different ties or two different blouses, um, whatever you wear. And then, I mean, I did see people, they had two different unique outfits um, that they would rotate for the two like big fancy things. But honestly, save yourself suitcase room and save yourself the heartache. I would just bring one for the Tokyo orientation, but with some accent piece that you can change to kind of liven it up. There's no need to bring two jackets unless you're, you have like an extra suitcase, uh, like so much room that you, yeah, I think I've meant, anyway. So uh, I brought my shoes and slacks and tuxedo, shirts, um, two formal and two like plain, uh, some socks, some ties. Uh, in your Tokyo orientation luggage, you wanna, do you wanna bring any of your medicines uh, and also Yakan Shomei? You're gonna be here for at least 12 months at a time. So if there are certain medications you have to bring with you, you have to prepare the Yakan Shomei, like a medical, uh, medical report, just saying like who you are and why you need these different medications and stuff like that. And I also brought my glasses in my Tokyo orientation bag. Um, uh, I brought three bags of Barbara's cheese puffs. You gotta have your comfort food. If it can fit in your suitcase, I might bring a little bit because you're gonna have a lot of culture shock just in that first three days. Of course you're gonna be fine. Of course don't worry that your brain's gonna explode, you know, because you're in Tokyo. It's gonna be fun and exciting and you're gonna be with a bunch of other foreigners who just wanna have fun. Um, but I brought my comfort food with me just in case. Oh, and also I brought it in my carry-on so it wouldn't pop in my uh, my bigger suitcases that are going to be like, you know, covered with junk. Um, so yeah, comfort food and then tuxedo orientation stuff. I would bring maybe a notebook that you can jot notes with, plenty of pens. You do not want to be caught in a panel without a pen. So now we're going into the two, like uh, it really depends on your, your travel arrangement. But for me, I was able to bring two checked bags for free. And then I also brought a checked... Um, computer uh it was 200 dollars usd so i uh yeah i brought that as well and the tsa tore into the box and nearly like destroyed the screen so anyway yeah i brought uh, my computer tsa did rip open the box and there were blade marks on the box right basically they dug through the box and i mean they very it, yeah, it was a miracle that they didn't damage it and I'm thankful for that miracle. So I'm talking about my two checked bags. So I've got one that's a smaller one. It's kind of like your, your, your medium range um, to carry all of my heavy, dense things and then a bigger one to carry a bunch of light things. And so far that's worked for me very well. You know, I put, um, I'll just go into it. So 
on my big, light and fluffy, r roomy suitcase, I put my omiyage, which includes some little jars of um, Florida marmalade. Honestly, it was overkill. I really recommend just something very small, very light, very low maintenance uh, for your omiyage. Even for the people who are important, something small and light is going to make the best impression from just from my two years here experience. Uh, anything more like like a, a big coffee set or like a or like a Stein set or like different alcohols and stuff. I think they make interesting gifts, but a lot of times it can feel like overkill and the teacher just accepts it like, oh, sumimasen, I don't have anything to give back. I'm so sorry. So I really think less is more and that's just my own two cents. Uh, so I brought omiyage. I brought my aromatherapy diffuser. It's only this big and it was quite light. Um, I brought a lot of my uh, like slip-on shoes and flip-flops and kind of light footwear. I brought the extra, my extra sets of glasses and then I put them in that big suitcase. Now for the smaller suitcase, I don't really have a note for that. Um, I brought my like heavy recording microphone. It's a condenser mic. I brought um, some, uh, what do you call it? Like seasonal candles because I knew I'd get kind of lonely around Christmas and Halloween time. So I brought just like you can get them like off season at Bath and Body Works or, you know, anywhere. And uh, that really helped me, you know, get my Christmas on, get my Halloween on, uh, or get my Tiki Beach on. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? Okay. Tiki Beach is a fragrance from um, Bath and Body Works. It's a candle. So anyway, um, anything else? Yeah, I think that'll set you. So it's really fun and exciting when you first get to your apartment and you just kind of throw your bags on your floor and then you get to set up camp in your new home, which is so sweet and so awesome. Uh, my urge was to kind of keep everything just in case I needed it. I went through all of my uh, cabinets and my closets and whatever, looking for cleaning supplies and towels. Um, if I were you, I would go ahead and make a list of the, the things you need uh, and then check them off as you go through the apartment and make sure that you have um, you know what you need unfortunately um, one of my supervisors one of the people looking out for me said okay let's go to the home center and you can pick up anything you need but I didn't make a list so I was just kind of going off of memory and so I, I probably missed a chance to like get good laundry detergent or like toothpaste or whatever um, so don't you know the more organized you can be in this free time while you're packing uh, the better and Really, for that Tokyo orientation, you just want to have those things that you need for Tokyo orientation. Um, and yeah, I would honestly say just like one suit and then maybe throughout the day, just some like semi-formal stuff, business. Um, but I wouldn't bring more than one jacket unless you love a costume change. And what else? I think some snacks would be nice. Um, oh, melatonin. Um the like some some people from uh were coming in from britain and the time swap from britain and other certain other countries is so harsh and they were kind of out of it for the first you know day and a half so um whatever you need that will help get your sleep schedule and your circadian rhythm into in in line with the new place or like an led lamp uh one of those sad lamps that help you wake up can be really helpful anything else i think that's about it get excited understand that you've got a lot of support and you've got a lot of new adventures waiting for you it's not all going to be easy uh but it's worth it yeah i mean i've had some awful times in japan but i had some like sweet peak experiences in japan uh no regrets you're gonna love it it's gonna be awkward sometimes oh it's gonna be awkward but you can do it good luck out there gambate kudasai